Hey, Brian from Gradual Hall. Today I have a, a new digital caliber and I've been looking to get a digital one for the longest time, but they've been so expensive and finally somebody made one that is a uh, an affordable one. So let's open it up, take a look. So one thing is it comes in a awesome case so you can protect your, uh, your caliber, which is great. And it's got two little openings. So you got a little booklet that comes inside it. And it looks like it has a lot of different setup information that you can go through. A couple different languages. It comes with a lens cleaning cloth, which is actually a pretty pleasant surprise. And then you have your digital caliber. It's nicely packed. And protected. Uh, regular parchment paper. And it looks like it takes a battery. And it looks like that battery compartment is like right here. And it looks like it has a battery in there already. Which is like super cool. And yep. And they, uh, how awesome is that? You got a spare battery they send for you. So that's really cool. Thank you. And then, I mean, it's boldly marked so you can see all your little your increments. And then, obviously, as you pull the caliber back, and it's a little tight, and I think you can adjust it from up here. So you get that little set screw so you can adjust the tightness and the width of everything. So this is millimeter set to you right now. And it looks like you can definitely set it for inches. And then if you close it down all the way, you do have a zero button out on here, which is like really cool and handy. So you can zero that out. And I usually use a lot of different like O-rings. I'm a, a mechanic, an inventor, an author. So I, I do a bunch of different things, but mainly when I'm doing mechanical work, I need to measure O-rings. So I need to get them as accurate as I can. So, Without crushing it. All right, so this is actually it's a four millimeter. So see how it's like gripping on there. So let's go right out to four, and you can fine tune it. All right, so right. So if I'm measuring this now, it's a little tight, but it measures at four millimeter. So that's the width of it. And then I can measure how, how wide it is. And again, you wanna measure so you don't crush. So this thing is super accurate and it's rubber, so you're gonna be off a little bit, but you see that's 26. And I mean, it's within So if I were to get it out to 26 exactly, you would see how it can slip in there pretty easy. So, and then you can measure the inside width of an O-ring. And without stretching it too much, it's actually 18. So let me bring that back out. So right there. So you can see how it slips on pretty easy. And it's rubber, so it's going to definitely conform to whatever shape you're putting around. But, so... That's 18 millimeters. So this measures that with great accuracy. And you can switch it over to inches, put it back here, and then see how it changes the inches up in the corner there. And just to measure, I have my handy dandy at a right angle. So we're gonna bring this out to an inch. And I'm gonna show you how accurate it is compared to a standard printed so if you put that on there, you can see how we are exactly at an inch. And then if we're gonna measure this caliber out, same thing, so you're within an inch as well. So again, super accurate, it's digital, and a lot of work that I do, I need to measure within the millimeter and the decimal point too. So this is my uh, 
new digital caliber of choice. And it has a on off switch right there so you can turn it on and off. And I believe it does auto off as well. So if you ever do forget and you leave it on, it will turn itself off. But other than that, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, this is your uh, new digital caliper. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.